Hello everybody, get ready to do lesson 13.3 part 1 of grade 6 math today. And for 13.3 part 1 solving area equations, you got 38 points on your class worksheet. And then 2 points on your notebook and name, date, period students. Due date here for onlineers and homeschoolers. And then our today's bell work. <clears throat> is uh, find the area of a rectangle with a base of five feet and a height of nine and one half feet students here's an example up here if you need to uh, guide here and teachers give your students about two and a half minutes see you in two and a half welcome back everybody and then our solution for today's bell work Find the area of a rectangle with a base of five feet and a height of nine and one half feet. That comes out to 47 and one half square feet for the area of a rectangle with these dimensions. Okay, going into our first page here, uh, the essential question of this lesson is how do you use equations to solve problems about area of rectangles? parallelograms, trapezoids, and triangles. So we're going to do problem solving using the area of a triangle. <clears throat> Recall that the formula for the area of a triangle is area equals one half base times height. You can also use the formula to find missing dimensions if you know the area and one other dimension. So let's try that. <clears throat> Example one, the Hudson High School wrestling team just won the state tournament and has been awarded a triangular pennant to hang on the wall in the school gymnasium. Here's like a, a model of that, a, 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 a diagram. The base of the pennant is 1.5 feet long. Here's the base here, 1.5 feet long. It has an area of 2.25 square feet. So this thing here, this triangle has an area of 2.25 square feet. What is the height of the pennant? So we need to find this dimension here. So we know area equals one half base times height, right? So formula for the area of a triangle. And what do we know, know about this triangle? It has an area of 2.25 and it has a base dimension of 1.5. 1, 1 feet but we need to find h so we we have to solve this for h so use the formula to write an equation and then we come up with 2.25 equals what's one half of 1.5 it would be 0 0.75 h is what it would be so multiply one half and 1.5 we get 0 0.75 so now that we have that we can go ahead and solve it. 2.25 equals 0.75h. What do we divide through here by students to isolate our h to solve this equation? We need to divide both sides of the equation by 0.75. So when we do that, we divide both sides by 0.75, the division property of equality. And then when we do that, uh, this will cancel out. We'll be left with just h on this side. What's 2.25 divided by 0 0.75? It would be 3. 3 would equal h. So we know this uh, dimension here will be 3 feet. So the height of the pennant is 3 feet. Okay, your turn now on some problems. Renee is sewing a quilt whose pattern contains right triangles. Each quilt piece has a height of six inches and an area of 24 square inches. So like this piece here, say, has, has a height of six inches and uh, an area of 24 square inches. How long is the base of each quilt piece? Okay, so students do that at your desk. Teachers give your students about two minutes okay welcome back everybody so we have a uh, quilt piece has a height of six inches she's uh, Renee sewing a quilt with right triangles 
So it has a height of 6 inches and an area of 24 square inches. How long is the base of each quilt piece? So to find that, you can use this space here. Somebody wants to come up to the smart board. You can use this space here to do that. And your calculations should yield 8 inches for, for this, students. <clears throat> Writing equations using the area of a trapezoid. So you can use a formula for area of a trapezoid to write an equation to solve a problem. So what we need to find out is the formula for the area of a trapezoid. A garden in the shape of a trapezoid has an area of 44.4 square meters. One base is 4.3 meters long and the other base is 10.5 meters long. The height of the trapezoid is the width. So this right here is your height here or the width of the trapezoid. How wide is the garden? So we need to find this dimension here. So again, we know, well, I guess we were finding out the area of a trapezoid is one half height, one half H times B1 plus B2. So here's the formula for the area of a trapezoid. And so we can plug in what we know here for about this trapezoid here. We know the area to use the formula to write an equation. Okay, so we know the area and then we can solve it for that. So students, go ahead and give that a shot at your desk. And then I'll give you, uh, teachers, give your students about two minutes to solve that. And once your two minutes is up, students, yeah, that's what you do down there. But first up here, you know, the area is 44.4 .4 and one half H, and then we have parentheses here, right? B1 plus B2, B1 be 4.3, and then B2 be 10.5. So now that we have that, we can use our order, order of operations. 44.4 .4 equals one half uh, height times B1 plus B2, 4.3 and 10.5 would be 14.8. So <clears throat> to find our height or our width in this case, we need to solve that equation for H, multiply one half and 14.8. So students go ahead and proceed to do that. And once you do that, teachers, give your students about a minute and a half. The garden, and well, I just gave it away. So 44.4 .4 equals 7.4 in height. So we're solving for H. We've got to divide both sides by 7.4. This goes away. What's 44.4 .4 divided by 7.4? It would be six. So six would be H, six would be this value here. The garden is six meters wide. Okay, another reflection here. Explain why the first step after substitution is addition. So we covered that earlier in this course, students. You sh and I kind of said it too earlier, so uh, explain why the first step after substitution is addition. Well, by the order of operations, you perform operations inside parentheses first. So you do what's inside your parentheses first, and then after that, you go ahead and uh, <clears throat> uh, multiply that by one half, and then move your divide both sides by that number, and you end up with your height. <clears throat> okay, another your turn slide. The cross section of a water bin is shaped like a trapezoid. The bases of the trapezoid are 18 feet and 8 feet long, and it has an area of 52 square feet. What is the height of the cross section? So, teachers, give your students about two minutes to solve that. Somebody come up to the smart board if they wish, or teachers, you can use this to solve that as well. And after about two or three minutes, 
after doing your calculations and using the formula for a trapezoid, you should come up with four feet. So what is the height of the cross section would be about four feet. So you did 13.3 uh, part one, grade six math, animated PowerPoint math video at ALO.com for questions or course materials or tutoring or tests or worksheets, okay? Thank you very much.